so excited because today it's gonna be my first Halloween look. I wanted to come on here before I get transformed just because you guys know I love Halloween and I'm always nervous to put these looks out there, but hopefully you guys like it and if you're interested, keep watching. So I'm first gonna start with my eyes and for that, I'm gonna take the NYX Gel Liner. This one is in jet black. You can take whatever you have, any type of black ba base. Sorry, my voice is a little bit groggy. It's just I've been battling with sickness and this is gonna become a voiceover. Okay, so here I'm just using a flat brush to extend that base. Like I said, you can use any black base that you already own. Just make sure that it's fresh, like you don't want it to be too dry because then it's going to be a little hard to blend. I found that this one was a little drying and I did have a little bit of a hard time to blend it out, but I guess I got it to work. Now I'm going to take this shade from the L'Oreal, um, but basically any purple eyeshadow. I'm gonna later in the video change into a Bisu shadow, shadow because this one wasn't really showing up as much. I needed like a really vibrant purple and something told me I should have used my Take Me Back to Brazil palette but it's whatever. So you're basically just gonna deposit this uh, purple shadow all over your eyelid and try to blend it as much as you can. This is gonna be sort of like a messy smoky eye you really don't have to take a lot of care into this and um, you basically just want to make sure your lids look really washed out and blended out but not to an extent where it looks perfect in no way shape or form does it have to be perfect you just gotta make sure it looks nice and blended Now here, instead of taking that same black base, I took a Wet n Wild uh, black lipstick and I applied that as my base for the under eye. I do want to make it nice and smoky under my under eyelids and I didn't really like the way the NYX base was performing. That's why I switched to this black lipstick um, and it's completely safe to use like under your, your eyes. Don't worry about it. And plus it's a dollar. It was really creamy and I thought it did a better job than the next one. Um, the next one wasn't a bad product, but I think like it was just old on me. So yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a, one of my highlighters because I did see in the inspirational photo that I got from this look that the girl was really highlighted and I wanted to make my beetle juice nice and glam as well you can be spooky and glammy at the same time and so i applied a little bit of the sleek makeup a highlighting palette and yeah that's basically everything i did for the eyes So I did my brows and I put a little bit of mascara off the camera. Now I'm going to be working on my base and for my base I'm going to use this um, Lele Go Pro cover. And for this I took just a Real Techniques sponge. Uh, you do want to make sure that it's wet so that you can apply the base really nicely and since i already had my eye makeup done you just gotta be really careful but i found that pouncing the sponge like a, pinching it a little bit like tighter from your fingertips it gets you closer to these areas where you can't reach with the with a big portion of the sponge so you just gotta pinch it and it just lets you get in there in the really small little areas and 
just making sure the base is nice and coating all over my face since Beetlejuice has a white base. So I went ahead and extended it to my ears and to my neck. Although my neck wasn't going to be, I mean my ears weren't going to be showing as much. I did still want it to um, go ahead and coat them just in case, you know, my hair did a little flip or whatever and I showed my ears. I was just going to make sure of that. Okay, here, so I just punctured like some type of design that I just literally ripped my, my Real Technique sponge because I needed like a texturizing sponge. So I just went ahead and destroyed it. And I'm going to be applying this liner from NYX. It is from the Vivid Brights line and this one is in the color Vivid Envy. And I basically just needed like a green base. I had tried a crayon that I had, like a, one of those wax pencils, but it really wasn't working for me. So I went ahead and took this liner to create kind of like a shadowing effect with the green. Uh, Beetlejuice has a kind of like a rottening face, so I wanted to achieve that type of look. Now I'm going to be taking this palette by Wet n Wild, it's one of their um, kind of like colors for Halloween and taking that brown shade, I'm going to just start by deepening the green since like I said, I need to get like a rotting effect. I'm going to layer some different colors to achieve that rotting effect. I did notice though that when I was applying more colors, the green was fading off a little bit so later in the video i'm gonna reapply it and i did notice also that the texture was kind of fading away as i was applying more colors so i will reapply some of the texture later on Here I went ahead and took it old school and I tried the technique of using a tissue or a towel. You just basically scrunch it up, apply the paint and it gives you uh, sort of like a texture. I guess I should have done this instead of <laughs> freaking destroying my beauty blender. Shocker! But <laughs> I guess you learn as you go. So yeah, I went ahead also and applied this white lipstick by wet n wild it's part of their halloween line you guys should try it out it's really really nice and since bitter juice really doesn't have like a lip color his lips are just black basically since he doesn't wash his teeth um i don't really know but i just invented that and then i went ahead and applied a little bit of lipstick on my teeth since like i said bitter juice really does not give a effing fuck of his hygiene <laughs> just kidding guys but um yeah that's basically what i did then i went back ahead with the green like i was telling you earlier and i did some more of the texture i did notice it was fading away with the other colors so i went ahead and reapplied it to make the look stand out even more so here i am just setting the black with a shadow because I did notice that it was turning a little grayish and I didn't want it to look like my lips were rotting. And here on with the full on wig, um, I did have a little bit of trouble to restyle it, but I hope you guys really like it. And this is my take on a Beetlejuice. I did apply a little bit of blood just to give it a more spoopy, spooky effect. I hope you guys liked it and until our next Halloween video, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.